Before we start our tutorial video today, if you love our videos please click on like button and make sure to click on subscribe and bell icon. To receive notifications of future helpful content of automation and process control. Now let's get started. The primary element, often called a square-edged orifice plate, consists of a flat piece of metal with sized hole board in it, creating a DP across it. The square root of the DP is proportional to flow. A common value used in orifice plate measurement is the beta ratio. This ratio is equal to the inner diameter of the orifice divided by the inner diameter of the pipe. Typically, the minimum beta ratio should be within 0.3 to 0.7 with a DP between 25 and 200 inch of water column. However, it is preferred that the beta ratio be between 0.4 and 0.6. An orifice pressure drop refers to the reduction in fluid pressure that occurs when the fluid flows through an orifice or a constriction in the pipe. This phenomenon is commonly used in engineering applications to measure the flow rate of the fluid. A downstream of section 1. Streamlines are converging towards the orifice plates, which indicates that velocities are increasing due to reduction in area. Fluid stream continuously accelerates beyond the orifice plate until a point where area of fluid stream reduces to a minimum value. This minimum area at section 2 is known as vena contractor. When we draw a graph between pressure and pipe length, we will see that vena contractor. Pressure reduces to minimum value and hence velocity reaches maximum value. At downstream of vena contractor, fluid velocity reduces and fill the pipe again. Due to reduction in fluid velocities the pressure increases and tends to recover to its original level. The pressure at section 3 is always less than pressure at section 1. The pressure difference between sections 1 and 3 is non-recoverable and known as permanent pressure loss. Pressure difference between section 2 at vena contractor and section 3 is known as pressure recovery. Pressure drop across orifice is mainly affected by Reynolds number and beta ratio. The following correlation is given by Gibson, it is reproduced in many books that IT relates the flow through the orifice and the pressure drop. Also you may refer to the link of an orifice flow and pressure drop calculation tool for your practic, in the description box below. Also you may refer to my previous video of an orifice plate flow meter working principle, as I left the video's link in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.